Hi, it's Naomi and Drake again. Um, this one is like 2843. It was in the checkpoint for my students. Um, and it's a word problem that has to do with solving an inequality. So it's really not very hard to solve once you get it to be an inequality. I think where the most students get caught up or maybe just stunned, turn into deer in the headlights, um, is the translating from the word problem into the inequality. So here, let's see, we're told you're taking a course, there will be five tests, and they're worth 100 points each, um, and it tells us the scores that you already have, 91, 94, 97, and 86, um, and it also says that you have to make a certain t total amount. 450 in order to get an A in the course. Now we know of course if your sum or if your total amount of scores is higher than 450 and 450 will give you an A, um, then you'll still have an A. So what we're looking to do here when it's talking about total is add these numbers up. So we'll set up our inequality 91 plus 94 plus 97 plus 86 plus some unknown value maybe X, maybe T, maybe S for score, um, has to be greater than or equal to 450. So that's how we would start it. So 450 is the smallest number that would give us an A. Okay, from here we just simplify both sides. Um, the right side's already simplified, so I only need to just add these numbers up over on the left side, and if I add them up I get 368. So I'm just adding these numbers together and leaving that plus x there. Um, I want x to be completely by itself. So I'm going to subtract, this is a positive 368, I'm going to subtract 368 from both sides so that I won't have any more numbers over here on the left, and x will be by itself. Um, so then I have to subtract 368 from 450, and let's see, that gives me... Uh, 82, and so then I end up with x is greater than or equal to 82, the x just comes straight down, the greater than or equal to 2 comes straight down, um, and then the 82 is from subtracting over there. So I might have to write this in set notation, which would give me curly bracket, um, x bar x is greater than or equal to 82, um, close curly bracket. Um, and then sometimes the question will tell you what variable to use. So if it told you a different variable like S or T, you'd want to use S or T instead of X in my math lab because it would probably count it as incorrect if you used the, the different variable from what they were expecting. Okay, so here's another problem. This one, there are three tests. You're given all but one score, two scores. Um, again, you have a total amount you need in order to get a C and you have to set up an inequality and solve it. So what I'd like for you to do is pause the video right now, set up your inequality, solve it, and then come back, unpause the video, um, check and see if your answer is correct. Okay, pause now. Alright, so hopefully you've worked the problem now. When you translate your inequality, you get 72 plus 64 plus x is greater than or equal to 210. Um, you combine like terms, you subtract from both sides, and you end up with x is greater than or equal to 74. I hope you got that right. Okay, um, I hope this helps. Bye.